If you're planning to holiday in southern France and need somewhere to stay, then look no further than this charming apartment in the unique setting of the marine village of Port Grimaud. It provides the perfect base for the exploration of Port Grimo and the many adjacent towns and hill villages of the region. The apartment offers two bedrooms, a living area and a balcony large enough for dining outside. The balcony is south facing and enjoys direct sunlight from around midday until sunset. There is an electrically operated canopy should things get too heated. The kitchen and second bedroom face northwards, overlooking the local square. This lively and enchanting area offers cafes, bars and restaurants, with easy access to just about everywhere else in the development. It's safe and secure, and the apartment comes complete with its own car parking space. To book this apartment, go to www.holiday-rentals.co.uk and type property ID number 414509 into the search box. If you're not yet sure whether Port Grimo is for you, sit back and take in this whistle-stop tour of the village and some of its many surrounding attractions. The development of Port Grimaud commenced in the mid-1960s and it's sited on the northern peninsula of Saint-Tropez. A miniature Venice, it comprises 12 small islands linked by bridges and surrounded by some 7 kilometres of canals. The many brightly coloured Provencal style units blend influences from France, Italy, Portugal and beyond. The complex has beaches, restaurants, shops and a bank. In fact, everything you could need for a self-contained holiday. But it also provides an excellent base for travelling further afield. Just six kilometres inland lies the original medieval village of Grimaud. It's easily accessed by car. Or you can take La Petite Train, which leaves on a regular basis from the main entrance to Port Grimaud. Grimaud is perched on a hilltop and has charming medieval and Provencal style buildings. Cobbled alleyways and brightly coloured flower growth in abundance. The village possesses an outstanding centrepiece in the form of the 11th century castle at the summit. These ruins are dominated by the 7 metre high towers, complete with arrow slits and underground passages. There are stunning views of the surrounding countryside, and from here you can see Port Grimo on the coastline. You'll also notice the nearby San Roque's windmill, which is just a short walk down from the castle. This mill, dating from the 17th century, has recently had its stonework and wooden blades restored, and its location makes it well worth the visit. If it's the beach life which you've come to this region for, you'll not be disappointed. Port Grimo has two beaches, one private, for residents use only, and the other sharing public access. The private beach is spacious, and it's usually a simple matter to find somewhere to spread out and relax at any time of the day. The public beach is an altogether more lively affair, and provides a range of activities such as kayaking, sailing, jet skiing, and parasailing. Both beaches are within comfortable walking distance of the apartment, or you could avail of the water taxi service, which calls at various points on a regular basis. Outside of Port Grimaud, there are numerous other public beaches dotted around the immediate coastline. These are easily accessible by car, or via the many kilometres of safe and child-friendly cycle track. Many of these beaches offer further water sport activities such as scuba diving. Underwater visibility is usually favourable and a wide range of marine species can be seen.
Not having your own boat doesn't in any way inhibit your ability to enjoy the attractions within Port Grimo. All areas can be accessed on foot or by bicycle. Or you can avail of the residents' boat service which commutes to and fro between various pickup points and the beaches and main square within the complex. Tourist vessels can take you on an informative cruise of the marine village's layout. Alternatively, if you prefer to take the helm yourself, you can rent a small electric boat for an hour and personally navigate the many kilometres of canals. To travel further afield, just jump aboard a ferry from the main square or catch one of Le Bateau Ver or green boats from the main harbour. These will take you to the ports of San Maxime or Saint Tropez, a journey lasting around 20 minutes. The historic town of Saint Tropez needs little in the way of an introduction and makes for an interesting stop off at any time. But it seems to exhibit a particular vibrancy and take on an almost otherworldly charm at night. If you'd like to rent this two-bedroom apartment in the marine village of Port Grimo, go to www.holiday-rentals.co.uk and type property ID number 414509 into the search box. Port Grimo provides the perfect base for visiting some of France's major cities and attractions. From here you can easily access Cannes, Nice, Monaco and Marseille none of which are more than two hours away by car. If you drive inland to the northwest for about 80 kilometers, you'll come across the spectacular gorges de Verdun. This is widely considered to be one of Europe's most beautiful river canyons and stretches for some 25 kilometers, sinking to over 800 meters depth in certain areas. You can drive the windy road the whole way around the canyon's rim, kayak along the river, or if you're feeling energetic, hike the 15 km trail alongside it. If you prefer to stay by the Côte d'Azur coast, you could take a trip to marine land at Antibes, just outside of Nice, and about one and a half hours drive east from Port Grimaud. A worthwhile day out for the whole family. You can take in the many shows put on at regular intervals by the resident marine mammals and their trainers. You'll witness the flamboyant flipper frolics of the sea lions. Delight in the ballet of the bottlenose dolphins, or for something quite unique, you can check out the heavy-duty orca antics in the giant marine stadium. But be prepared to get just a little wet. For an encounter with even more bite, 
take a stroll through Marineland's 30-metre shark tunnel, or wonder at the stunning shapes and colours in the tropical fish aquarium. Back in Port Grimo, and you can't help but marvel at the architectural diversity and detail contained in the many buildings around the development. In the main square you can visit the unique dual denominational church where the body of Port Grimo's architect, Francois Spoueri, is entombed. One of the church's many distinctive features is the stained glass window comprising 25 separate elements each depicting a different solar phase. Outside you can climb the steps to the terrace of the 16 metre high bell tower. From here you can observe the panoramic views of the whole of the Port Grimo complex and take stock of the impressive nautical hardware either on the move or lying at anchor. Nearby you will see the hills of the Mar to the northeast and to the distant east, you can see across towards Saint-Tropez. With Saint-Tropez so close by, it's hard to resist the temptation to visit again and again. It's a worthwhile excursion taking the many steps up to the old town's citadel fortress. This was built in the 16th century to defend the town and its inhabitants you can tread the ancient ramparts and take a leisurely stroll through the Naval Museum. Its location provides for stunning panoramic views of both Saint-Tropez town and port and the surrounding gulf. Should you find that things are running at too relaxed a pace within Port Grimo, you could take a 10 minute walk to the nearby Azure Park. This bright, brash and noisy fun park contains dozens of attractions, from the mild to the outrageous. From ghost trains to gondolas, water slides to a huge ferris wheel, from where you can get a bird's eye view of the whole park. Or you could ride the King roller coaster if you dare. A multi-ride pass can be obtained at the entrance and provides for a good value evening's entertainment. If that's not your thing, you could treat yourself to some retail therapy at the adjacent supermarket, one of the largest in the area. After a dizzy night out at the fun fair, why not take a stroll through one of the region's many markets? There are twice weekly markets in Port Grimo itself, on both Thursday and Sunday mornings. You can sample local food produce, purchase pottery, jewellery, toys, clothes and handmade craft items. There are also twice weekly markets in the picturesque hill village of Ramatuel, about 10 minutes drive from Port Grimo. When you've had your fill of Ramatuel's market stalls, you can explore its narrow, steep, cobble-lined streets and peer out towards the distant coastline. So there you have it, Port Grimo and surrounding regions in a nutshell. Whether you want to potter around in the canals, take in some local history and culture, relax on one of the many excellent beaches, eat out and sample the local wines, or check out the festivals and nightlife, then the chances are you'll find something to meet your needs here. To rent a two-bedroom apartment within the Port Grimo complex, go to www.holiday-rentals.co.uk and type property ID number 414509 into the search box. Perhaps this video has sufficiently whetted your appetite to encourage you to come and further explore for yourself. If you don't, you may never know just what you're missing.